Okay, everybody. So today I am bringing you my 2020 makeup inventory numbers. This is going to be a pretty laid back video. I've got my coffee and we're just going to go through the numbers. I don't have pictures. I am posting pictures on my Instagram throughout the next month or so. I've already done my primers, foundations, and concealers, what I currently have in my inventory. So I'm going to have my Instagram handle on the screen here and also a clickable link in the description box if you want to check it out and that way you can actually see pictures of what I currently have. So I'm going to start with primers. The way I have this broken down is my current number. I also have it broken down by the items that I already owned before 2019 and then the items I brought in in 2019 and those numbers together make what I currently have in my collection. So starting with primers, I currently have 38 primers. I know that sounds crazy. It is crazy. I get that. Um, most of them are deluxe sizes. I'm moving right through them already. I have, I already have a couple of empties for January. I get it. Um, in 2019, I brought in 22 of the primers that I currently have in my collection, meaning that 16 of them were brought in before 2019. My goal is to try to get through as many of those primers from before 2019 as possible this year and not bring in as many, be a little bit more selective about the things I'm bringing in. And that's that goes for all of the categories, but I know that 38 primers is obnoxious. I get it. My next category is foundations and I have 28. Again, a lot of those are smaller sizes and that's my focus for this year. I've got like two or three full sizes in project pans this year and then the rest are deluxe sizes. I'm being a lot more careful about the foundations that I'm bringing in this year and I'm just trying to work through what's old in my collection. I brought in 12 of those foundations in 2019, meaning 16 of them are from before 2019. I already know a couple that I'm going to declutter, my first declutter. And I, I think that maybe five of those 16 are full sizes. So I'm gonna power through a lot of those deluxe sizes this year and get that number down. The next category I have is concealers. I love concealers. I love them. I think they're great. So I currently have 22 concealers in my collection. Nine of those I brought in in 2019 and 13 of them I brought in before then, I worked on a handful of, I think every full size concealer that I worked on last year was from before 2019. My goal is to get as many of those out as possible and I'm feeling pretty confident about that. For eye primers, I only have six. Now six is still a lot for eye primers, but I went through I think three last year, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Only two of those were brought in during 2019 and four of those are from previous years. I've got, I've got two of them in project pans right now, I believe. So I'm not super worried about that number. Powders is another really big category for me. I go through powders like crazy. I love trying out new powders. I actually have a new powder on the way right now that was a Love Heatherette recommendation that I've been wanting to try and it was on the Love Your Skin event sale for today so I picked it up. Anyways, so I have 50 powders in my collection. Again, I do have a handful, probably like 10 that I think I'm going to declutter that are pressed powders that I just don't think are going to work for me. But out of those 50, eight of them came into my collection this year and 42 of them are from previous years. Again, I think that I'm gonna be able to declutter quite a few of those powders from previous years. I go through 10 to 15 powders a year and I do like trying new powders, so I don't see that number drastically going down. Like I'm never gonna be one of those people that's like, I only wanna have four powders. It's just never gonna happen and I'm okay with that. So for face palettes, I currently have 20. 12 of them, right? 12 of them came in in 2019 and eight of them were previous. Now I do include anything bigger than a duo of the same as well. So I got a bronzer palette, 
in an Ipsy bag. That counts as a face palette. I got a blush trio from Alomar Cosmetics in a boxy charm. That counts as a face palette. All those kind of things. Most of those 12 were face palettes that I received in some sort of subscription box. And I do think that there's a few of them I could probably declutter, but I do enjoy trying them. So I'm, I'm okay with what I have right now. And I just need to take a little bit better of a look and make sure there isn't anything that I can probably live without. My bronzer collection is something that I'm feeling really good about, especially when you compare it to my blush and highlight collection. I only have eight bronzers in my collection right now. Now, like I said, I do have bronzers in my face palettes, but my single pan bronzers, I only have eight. Four of them from 2019 and four of them from before 2019. I do currently have pan in two of my bronzers from before 2019 and those will definitely be out of my collection before the year is out. And I do have one new one that's on its way, but I, I think I went through four bronzers last year and I think I went through four bronzers last year and they were all ones from before. So as long as I keep working through three or four bronzers a year, I'm going to be happy with my number as long as I keep it below like 15 or 20, honestly. Okay, so my blush number is probably going to sound crazy to you guys, but I am so happy with it right now and you are probably going to think I'm nuts, but I have 77 blushes. Now with that being said, only three of them came in in 2019. The other 74 were from previous years. And out of that previous 74, my inventory numbers that I did in January 2019, I had 86. That means I decluttered 12 blushes throughout 2019, which means I am being willing to let go of items. Blushes are really hard for me to declutter. I love all the blushes that I have, but I'm just realizing that some of them but I'm just realizing that some of them I don't need. And out of that 77, I did not include any of the things that I have used up or decluttered since January started. So I know that I actually only have 70. So I know I actually only have 72 because I decluttered five, all five of my NYX blushes to a friend of mine when she was in town. So my number is going to keep going down. I'm not in a place where I want to be bringing a bunch of blushes in. I did bring in a Clinique Cheek Pop Trio. I got it for super cheap, like $16, and it's three full sizes. So that's going to end up in my face palette category once I update my numbers. But it, at that point, it, it had two of the... Two of the three colors in that palette were ones that I wanted to own. So for $17 getting $75 worth of Clinique blushes, I was good with that. My highlight numbers are a little high too. I say a little, they're high too. I have 40 highlighters. Now that is a mix of cream and liquid and powder, full sizes and minis. I brought in an 11 in 2019 and I had 29 from previous years. I only used up two, but I did hit pan on three or four highlighters this last year. So I am getting use out of the highlighters that I have. I'm trying them out. I'm decluttering some of them. I just want to continue doing that for this year and be a little bit more careful about the highlighters that I'm bringing in. I'm super proud of this category for brow creams and powders. I only have four in my collection. I brought in one this year. It was the iconic brow like cushion that we got in a boxy charm. I have three from previous. And honestly, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, it's a Anastasia brow duo. It's an Anastasia powder brow duo, a Cella brow highlighter, and then some other kind of brow highlighter. I decluttered like seven or eight brow powders at the end of 2019. I am so proud of this number because it's not a product that I use very often. So I know that I don't need every brow powder under the sun, but I do have a few that I would like to keep because I do use sometimes. A couple of the categories that I don't have a problem with my numbers at all in my head, because I know how my usage is, is brow pencils and brow gels. So for brow pencils, I have 16. Nine of them were from 2000, nine of them came in in 2019 and seven of them were from previous years. I am not worried about that number at all. I think I went through five last year and I had a couple that were on its last leg. So spoiler alert, I might have potentially one, maybe even two 
in my January empties for this year and they're all from before 2019. So I'm not worried about that number. I love trying new brow pencils. I have specific brow pencils that I always wanna keep in my collection and I'm good with that number. And then for brow gels, I have 10. So I have eight of them came in before 2000, or eight of them came in during 2019 and I only have two in my collection from before 2019. And now I only have one because again, these are from January 1st and since January 1st, I finished one. So I feel really, really, really good about those numbers and I know that it's just gonna be something that I constantly cycle through. I like to try new ones. I always wanna have a few in my collection that I really like. I'm good with that number. Cream shadows, I only have nine. I brought in three, I had six. I've got one or two in project pans and I know that there's a couple of those I'm also gonna be able to declutter. So it's not something that I use very often and I'm aware of that. So I see this category shrinking quite a bit throughout 2020. For single shadows, I have 25. I only brought in one single shadow during 2019 and I had 24. Again, this is another category that I do feel confident that I'm gonna be able to declutter and get that number down. I really, 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 really want the Makeup Geek vault that they just came out with, or I think they're calling it a vault, and it's like 58 single shadows. That's, it's crazy. I know you're gonna see my eyeshadow palette number and you're gonna be like, you don't need it, crazy lady. So don't think I'm going to, I do think that I'm gonna pick up. I think that I figured out how I can get all of the colors that I want getting a nine pan and three quads which is still crazy I know but I don't need 58 new single eyeshadows for duos I have three I didn't bring any duos in this year I still had three from previous years I'm good with this number same with quads I have or same with trios I have five I didn't bring any in this year. I had five from before. And then quads, I have six. I brought one quad in. I'm trying to think which quad I brought in in 2019. I can't remember. But anyways, I only brought one in. I have six. I'm good with that number. Quince, five, so five pans. I have four. I had two. I brought in two in 2019. They, they were both the Dose of Color five pans. I'm happy to have those in my collection. I'm good with four. Now this is where I went a little crazy. So I constitute my larger palettes as six pans or above. So six, nine, 12, 14. I have a Morphe 35. I think the 35 is the biggest palette I have. But all of those are in one category. I have 54. Yeah. So I had 26. I brought in 28. Now of that 54, I think I decluttered like six or seven. And I'm really enjoying the palettes I have in my collection. There's a few more I could probably declutter because... I got a bunch of the Bad Habit palettes while they were super cheap and they were dupes of the Huda nine pans. And, and then I've received two of the nine pans in Ipsy bags. So I think I'm gonna declutter the ones that I have then replaced with the actual Huda palettes and just figure out of all of the palettes that I have in my collection, which ones I've upgraded the formulas on that have the same color story, but I just like the formula of the newer palettes better so that I can declutter some of these because I got let's see I got a Too Faced palette I got a Storybook Cosmetics palette I got an Ace Beauté palette and a Huda five four I got like four or five palettes in January oh I got five this month in January because I received four in subscription boxes and one of them I received as a Christmas present, but I cut my numbers off on Christmas day so that I can have everything calculated for the first of the year. I need to declutter some eyeshadow palettes. I know. So, and then I have combo palettes. I have six. I got one this year. I had five. The one I got this year was the Balm version two. I also have the version one. And a combo palette is 
to me something that has face items and eyeshadows. So I have six, I'm okay with that number. For eyeliners, I have 34. It's nuts, I know. The craziest part about having 34 eyeliners is I actually did a major eyeliner declutter while I was doing my initial inventory numbers in 2019 and I decluttered like 30 something. So this number could be way worse. I brought in five of them in 2019, 29 of them are from before and I have my work cut out for me. For liquid liners, I have 13. I brought in five, I had eight. I think I went through five. So I'm okay with those numbers. I've got liners in my collection that I really love. I've got liners that I'm go I've got liners that I want to try and I'm okay with that number for liquid liners. For gel liners, I have two. I didn't bring any in. They were from before 2019. Honestly, I could probably declutter one of them. I really like the pretty vulgar like pot liner, so I could probably get rid of the other one and be good with only having one in my collection. So this is the other category that's crazy. I know it's crazy. I'm aware it's crazy. On a positive side, I went through 20 of these last year. So as long as I keep using up more than I bring in, I may only have a couple of year that go bad on me. I don't know. I have 51 mascaras. They are not all open. They are not. They are not all full size. Actually, m most of them are not full size. Most of them are deluxe sizes. And like I said, I went through 20 mascaras or 22, between 20 and 22 mascaras in 2019. I brought in 11, 40 of them are from before. I know that I decluttered five or six last year as well. I'm just gonna keep moving through them. I give ones that are still in their packages that I know for a fact are still good. I give them to friends. I'm using up, I'm using them. I'm mixing the old ones with the new ones so that I, I know that my newer ones aren't gonna go bad on me while I'm trying to use ones that are already going bad, if that makes sense. Right now I have four that I'm rotating between. So this category needs work, but I'm trying. So for 2019, it was the year of the liquid lipsticks. I say that it was the year before was the year of the liquid lipsticks for me too. 2019 is where I figured out what formulas I really enjoyed and those were the formulas that I went out and actually sought out and purchased. So I have 33 liquid lipsticks, 18 of them I brought in in 2019 and 15 of them are from before. Honestly, the ones that are from before 2019, I could probably cut that number in half because I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what I was looking for. And then I found a handful of, and then I found a handful of formulas that I really enjoy. And those are the ones that I'm going to continue to buy. For lip liners, I have five. Four of them came in in 2019. One of them is from before. That one that's from before, I have in a project pan right now. Not worried about that number. For lipsticks, I have 18. 11 of them I brought in in 2019. Seven of them is from before. And I think I decluttered like 10 or 12 in 2019 that were previous lipsticks. And I have a few more from previous that I can declutter. So this is not a category that I grow purposely. There are subscription boxes or gift with purchases and I only keep the ones that I actually want to try. For lip glosses I have 11. Four of them came in in 2019. Seven of them were from previous years. Like I said I've got one that I'm project panning and a couple more of those I could probably declutter. It's not something that I love but there were a couple of lip glosses that I brought in 2019 that I actually really enjoy. So so maybe I am starting to like gloss, I don't know. And then a category that I include in with my makeup that many people don't is lip balm. So I have 24 lip balms. It's crazy, I know it's crazy. It is what it is. I brought in seven, I have 17 from before 2019. I have a handful of them that I'm working on this year and I'm gonna try not to buy too many this year. That's all I can hope for. My last category is setting sprays. Now, setting sprays are crazy for me because, okay, I have 21 setting sprays in my collection. 
that's full size and deluxes, but only two of those are from before 2019. I've got a posh setting spray that I'm working on right now in my 2020 by 2021 project pan. So I only have two from before 2019. That's crazy. 19 setting sprays are what I brought in in 2019. But no, I actually probably brought in like 27 or 28, but I've at least six or seven of the setting sprays I brought in in 2019, I then finished in 2019. That's crazy. So I know my numbers are nuts. I've got a couple of categories that are decent and manageable and then things like primers and eyeshadow palettes and mascaras and liquid lipsticks and blushes and highlights and powders. I just have too many and I get that and I like trying new ones and it's not even like I can't even say that it's like a YouTube thing or an Instagram thing. I just enjoy trying new formulas and luckily I go through enough makeup on a yearly basis that other than like palettes and blushes and highlights, nothing really sits for too long. But I know there are categories that I really need to work on. So what I'm going to do is I did a mid-year update and I didn't really update anybody on it. I just did it for my own numbers, but I'm going to do a mid-year. I'm going to do it sometime in July and it's going to be from January 1st to my birthday, which is June 30th. And it's going to be where my numbers were as of January 1st and then how many items I used up and then how many items I brought in in that six months for an updated number. And we'll talk about the items I decluttered and all of those kind of things. I've been loving watching everybody else's videos for this. And if you have one that you did, go ahead and link it down below. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.